What's up? This is Quark2448 with a following Slater 17 Mod Review. Today we'll be taking a look at a flatbed and a pickup truck pack which includes a Ford A Ram and some Chevy trucks. Up first we'll be taking a look at the Chevy Kodiak C4500. It's a 2006 model year and overall this is pretty cool. It is color changeable and as you guys can see it is a flatbed. It was released by the Squad YouTube channel. And up front you guys can see awesome looking wheels, a bumper and the grill look pretty cool. Take a look at all of the detail. As you come around to the side very nicely done on these giant tow mirrors then as you guys can see the back wheels look pretty cool really nice suspension as you look at it and you guys can see mud flaps and in the back you guys can see it does have a flatbed and this truck does come with LED lights which is another very cool feature you guys can see a lot of detail throughout LED lights on bed and everything once we hop on the inside this goes 100 miles per hour now there is an option for the towing tune which adds more power but take a look at these LED lights I mean this truck looks pretty cool all of the turn signals do work. It does have reverse lights and overall this is one very cool vehicle. We'll be taking this for a spin, seeing how this handles, but up front you guys can see awesome job. On the inside view, it does have an interior view, but it's not detailed. I really do like how it still has one, and you can still kind of uh, play it off that you are driving in first person. We'll be taking this for a spin and seeing how this handles, and I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the support here on these uh, mod reviews. These are a lot of fun, and I do appreciate all these modders for releasing epic mods like the ones featured in today's video so like we're saying this was released by the squad the video link will be down below in the description then you'll have to get the download link from him all the vehicles up next were released by punk and dylan youtube channel and his modding team did a great job go over there and subscribe to him because they released some epic trucks so up first we'll be taking a look at the chevy s10 wt this is a very cool truck single cab looks like six and a half foot bed and it is color changed I mean, the wheels on this look pretty cool. The grill looks awesome. And overall, the detail of all these vehicles today are above and beyond. And as you guys can see, it does not have a bumper pitch, but it's pretty cool. And the bed looks awesome. Once we hop on the inside, this goes 70 miles per hour. There's no working lights on the vehicle, but the model is awesome. We'll be taking this for spin, seeing how this handles. It does have pretty realistic acceleration, one antenna. And on the first person view, it does have an interior rear view. You guys can see that there are seats in like a center area but it's not too detailed and like I was saying earlier I really do like trucks that do have uh, interiors just like this one even if it's not detailed so as you guys can see turning on this is awesome and overall this is one pretty cool truck and overall the speeds and everything about this is very nicely done up next, we'll be taking a look at a Dodge Ram 2500. This is a 2007 model year. It does have a leveling kit on it. Very nicely done with these wheels, and it is color changeable. You guys can see up front, I mean, this grill looks pretty cool. Very nicely done on the headlights. Now, this does have the option for tow mirrors in the store, which is pretty cool. It looks like it's the crew cab toolbox in the back, and it does have a bumper pull hitch, which is pretty cool. And it, on the inside view, you guys can see that it does have a gooseneck hitch. Very nicely done on that hitch, and you guys can see the bed looks overall very nicely done. Once we hop on the inside, this goes 87 miles per hour, and we'll take a look at it. It looks like there are no working straps in the back, and we'll also take a look at the lights. It looks like there are no working lights on this truck, but like I was saying, level and kit suspension looks pretty cool. On the inside view, it does have an interior view, but it does uh, need to be moved up just a little bit, and it's not too detailed. But the engine sounds of this truck are awesome. Overall, I mean, this is a very nicely done truck. Handling is on point, and overall, very nicely done. All of the mods will be down below in the description to both uh, YouTube channels where they were released. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a 2017 Ford F-350 King Ranch. This truck is color changeable, and this thing looks awesome. It does have the 6.7 liter power stroke, turbo diesel underneath the hood, and I really do like stock trucks that do have stock wheels. And I mean, take a look at these wheels, guys. Very, very high quality, very realistic wheels. Suspension is great on this front end, on this looks awesome. And 
And you guys can see a lot of detail was put into this truck. And as you guys can see, it looks like chrome door handles are very nice exhaust. Suspension looks pretty cool. And it looks like there's a texture problem. But this hitch should probably look like that. And then as you guys can see, it does have the uh, gooseneck, which is awesome. Once we hop on the inside, this goes 87 miles per hour. We'll check for straps. Looks like there are no straps for the bed. In the first person view is pretty cool. It does look like have the 360 camera. Pretty realistic for dash. And uh, also very nicely done overall on the dash and everything like that. We'll be taking this for a spin, seeing how this handles. Like I was saying, this has a top speed of 87 miles per hour, and overall the handling of this truck is very nicely done. And it does also have a very realistic power stroke engine. Up next, we'll be taking a look at a 2016 Chevy 3500 HD high country pack there's a single rear wheel as you guys can see and there's a dually which is pretty cool so we'll first take a look at the dually and i mean take a look at all of the detail now these trucks are color changeable you do have a lot of different options for the bed like a toolbox headache rack a uh, cv antennas and also i believe that there is a ladder rack as you guys can see there is the duramax logo on the side very nicely done on the grill take a look at that hood bent that's pretty cool and as you come around to the side very nicely done on the wheels you guys can see awesome some detail to those tires. It is a high country trim, which is pretty cool. One of the top trims from Chevy. You guys can see very nicely done on those steps. As you come around to the back, awesome looking wheels and uh, the 4x4 symbol there. Drop hitch, and it also does have the straps in the back, as you guys can see, to put any logs in the gooseneck. And like I was saying, many different options for the bed. And overall, this is pretty cool. Once we hop on the inside, this looks like it goes 3,728 miles per hour. Pretty fast truck. And I mean, this thing just looks awesome. Now, it does have working lights. Take a look at all of those lights. It does also have turn signals. I mean, these are very nicely done LED headlights, which is epic. And you guys can also see it has a very realistic suspension. Punk and Dylan and his modding team really put a lot of effort into it. And I do appreciate him for releasing these. And go drop a sub to his channel. And uh, I really do appreciate him and his team for releasing these very high quality mods. We kind of turn around here and as you guys can see this truck drives pretty fast but it overall very nicely done and I kind of like it that it drives fast for when you do want to get to places. And up next like we're saying this is included in the pack but this is the single rear wheel edition. Looks like this is I believe the um, six and a half foot bed but it could be the eight but it really looks like the six. And as you guys can see it does have the drop hitch, uh, the straps in the back. It, now this one does not have the toolbox Box, but as you guys can see, you can put wood there. These tires look awesome, very realistic, and uh, overall awesome frame underneath as you guys can see up front it does have the same kind of front and the only difference between them is that one is a dually different wheels so once we hop on the inside view you guys can see 100 miles per hour that must be because I do have the stock engine and that one I did get the top engine so that's kind of the difference it does have fully working lights as you guys can see awesome job and it does handle pretty much the same very realistic truck and overall, it does have a very nicely done engine sound with the Duramax. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review featuring these epic trucks released by two different YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.